There are three terms that you're going to want to be familiar with that we're going to use, the doctors and the nurses are going to use to communicate with each other. And you're going to not want to be left in the dark, so you're going to want to understand what these terms mean. The three terms are dilatation, effacement, and station. Dilatation is probably the easiest one. Dilatation is how open the cervix is. So the cervix starts, it's like a donut. Um, and it starts off closed. As you go into labor, the cervix will gradually open more and more and more, and that's measured in centimeters. And it's how many centimeters open the cervix is at any given time. And that's the, that, that will be a number that will be given. It'll be the first number given when we talk about a cervical exam. 10 centimeters is fully dilated. That's the goal. So you're trying to get to 10 as we move through. And what will happen is the doctor or the nurse will put their fingers in your vagina, and they'll feel your cervix, and we know, we have a pretty good idea by what it feels like, how many centimeters that actually is. And then we'll be able to judge how dilated you are and see the progress of labor. So that's dilatation. The second word that you need to know is effacement. The cervix is a three-dimensional thing. And so it opens like this, but there's also thickness to the cervix. Effacement is how much thickness there is. So in a Non-pregnant cervix or, or early in pregnancy, a cervix is three and a half to four and a half centimeters in length. As you go into labor and you start contracting, the cervix will thin out. It usually thins out mostly before you dilate. Now we talk about effacement in terms of a percentage, where 100% is completely effaced, meaning it's completely thinned out, and 0% would be a totally long, normal cervix. And most people will start maybe 30 to 50 percent, then 60, 70, 80 percent, 90 percent is what you will usually be when you're really dilating a lot. I'm kind of a stickler. I never give people 100 percent because your cervix is never really 100 percent effaced until it's completely dilated. So in, at least when I'm on call, 90 percent is the best set you get. But that's the second phrase that will be given when we talk about a cervical exam. The third is station, and that's the third number that we're going to talk about when we talk about a cervical exam. Station has to do with how far down the baby's head is. And the way that's measured is there is an anatomical structure inside your pelvis called the spines that we can feel with our finger. By definition, zero station is right when the bony prominence of the head is right at those spines inside your pelvis. And so what we do is we examine you, we feel that landmark, we feel the baby's head, and then we judge your station. Zero station is the head is right there. Each centimeter farther towards the outside gets a number. So one centimeter would be plus one, two centimeters towards the outside would be plus two, plus three, and so forth. Plus four is essentially delivered. You can also have a negative station if the baby's head is higher than that landmark. It can be a minus one or a minus two or a minus three. Anything higher than that is really not in the pelvis at all. So that's the third thing that you'll hear. So for instance, you may hear a cervical exam of being 4, 80, and minus 2. That means you're 4 centimeters dilated, you're 80% effaced, and you're minus 2 station. Or you could be 9, 90, and plus 1. So that would be 9 centimeters dilated, 90% effaced, and the baby's head is 1 centimeter farther out than that landmark in the pelvis. So just so you know, you, what you're looking for is the first number to be 10, that would be completely dilated, the second number to be 100%, or if you're my patient, 90%, and that last number, you really are looking for a plus 3, you're never going to really hear much beyond that. But generally, you'll be more 0, plus 1, plus 2, those would all be good numbers. And so as you progress, you may start at minus 2, and you'll hear those numbers progress. So that way you can understand when we throw out numbers like that, you know, and, and that'll be a very common thing. We'll say, hey, what's she at? And the nurse will say, oh, she's 370 and minus 2. You'll know what that means. And the next time when, when the doctor is told that, you, that you're 480 and minus 1, you'll understand how you've progressed. So those are three words that you should know, dilatation, effacement, and station. Twice.com. <laughs>